Now, if you ever wanted to connect your Bluetooth device to your iPhone, but that specific device simply didn't show up there for one reason or another, then in this video, I'll be showing you what to do to fix this problem. So let's get started with this video right now. Obviously, make sure the device is in pairing mode, so turn on that specific device and get it ready to be used, and it also needs to be relatively close to the iPhone. This is kind of obvious, but I need to say it because when your AirPods or other Bluetooth device is too far away, then naturally you won't be able to connect them together. Okay, so the number one thing I want you to do is to reset the network settings. Resetting network settings on your iPhone will erase all network-related settings and preferences, including Wi-Fi, cellular, and Bluetooth settings. This means that all saved Wi-Fi network names and passwords, alongside the VPN settings and cellular network settings, will be removed, and your iPhone will forget any Bluetooth devices that were previously paired with it. So keep in mind that you'll lose the Wi-Fi passwords and other stuff. But I believe it's a good thing to do to reset your whole Bluetooth situation. In order to do this, you need to head over to the settings and then tap on the general section. Now there, scroll down towards the bottom and you should be able to see the transfer and reset section. Open it up and click on reset. It's again at the bottom of the page. Now you don't need to reset all the settings there, but instead just delete or reset the network settings only. A lot of times this should fix the issue of Bluetooth devices not showing, but naturally doesn't always have to be the case. So let's continue. When faced with the issue of a Bluetooth device not showing up on an iPhone, there are a number of factors to consider in order to pinpoint precisely the root cause of the issue. One of the first steps to take is to try to establish whether the problem lies with the iPhone or with the Bluetooth device itself. To do this, it is recommended to try pairing a different Bluetooth device to the same iPhone to see if the iPhone's Bluetooth functionality is functioning correctly. Conversely, if the Bluetooth device does not seem to be functioning correctly, it may be necessary to try connecting it to a different device altogether, such as a tablet, PC, or other smartphone. If it turns out that the Bluetooth device is not working correctly, it is possible that there is a fault with the device itself. For example, a Bluetooth earphone may have been dropped or exposed to moisture, which could lead to internal damage that affects its connectivity. Similarly, the firmware on the Bluetooth device may need to be updated in order to be compatible with the iPhone's software. So it's possible that the Bluetooth device is old and cannot even be connected to your new iPhone. On the other hand, maybe it's all the iPhone's fault. The issue may lie with the iPhone's Bluetooth antenna or module. The antenna is responsible for receiving signals from the device, while the module manages the Bluetooth connection. If either of these components is damaged or not functioning properly, it could lead to connectivity issues. You probably don't have all the tools to, like, repair your iPhone at home, so chances are that you'll need to bring your iPhone over to some kind of repair shop or Apple store, but I'm just saying what the problem could theoretically be. Another thing is that your iPhone's Bluetooth firmware may need to be updated. Well, the Bluetooth firmware on an iPhone is typically updated automatically when a new iOS software update is released and installed on your iPhone. Therefore, the best way to ensure that your iPhone's Bluetooth firmware is up to date is to regularly check for and install any available software updates. To check it out right now, go to the iPhone settings app, click the general option and the software update should be there almost at the top of the page. So click on it and install the latest available version. Anyway, we are now at the end of this video. I really hope that you found it helpful and valuable. For more videos like this one, make sure you are, in fact, subscribed to the Fox Tech YouTube channel and also check out this video, the one you can see right on the screen because I think it'll definitely help you out. Thanks a lot for watching and your support and I'll see you guys later.